Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe. A shadow graph enables you to build your shadow visually. Instead of hard writing code, you create and connect nodes in a graph network. The graph framework shows you the effects of your actions as you walk. There is no building period where you have to wait for the changes to bake. New users can simply start experimenting. In our previous episodes, we have discussed how to start with the shadow graph in Unity and achieve several examples such as water shadow, fernail effects, and hologram. My goal for this episode is to create another shadow, noise ellipse shadow. During the process, we will be familiar with more common nodes in shadow graph, including their descriptions and return values. As always, the link for the project repository is on the description below. You can also choose to read the text version of this episode. Okay, let's get into it. To use the shadow graph in your project, start a new project using a template that includes shadow graph or download lightweight render pipeline packages from the package manager. The shadow graph will be downloaded automatically for your use in either of these cases. Now we have opened up Unity. Go to Window and select Package Manager. Select all packages options on here. Making sure you have installed the shadow graph in Package Manager. First, let's create a new scene. Simply right click anywhere in the hierarchy, go to 3D Object and select the 3D plane. Select the main camera game object. Press Command or Control Shift F to align with view. Let's create a new material called dot material. Drag this material on the plane game object in the scene. To create a shadow graph asset, you click the create menu in the project window and select shader from the drop down. For here, you can create either a PBR or Unlight Shadow Graph Assets. In this example, we choose to Unlight Graph. There will create a Shadow Graph Assets in this project. You can double click on the Assets to bring up the Shadow Graph Edit window. When you open the Shadow Graph, you start with the Master Node. You connect nodes into the Master Nodes to create the look of your surface. To add a node, simply right click and select Create Node. Simple Noise. Simple Noise generates a gradient or Boolean noise based on input UV. The scale of the generated noises is controlled by input scale. Since the noise based on input UV, let's create another node, UV Node. Try to connect the UV output with the input UV on Simple Noise Node. However, nothing happens. Our first step is to make our screens look more mosaic. In other words, we are going to lay out many rectangulars in a regular pattern. Let's create another node, Posterize node. Posterization of an image entice conversions of a continuous gradient of tones to several ranges of few tones, which suddenly changes from one term to another. This node returns the posterize value of the input in into amount of values specified by input steps. We can try to change the steps value and check it out. We set the value to 15, which means there are 15 plus 15 ranges of the tones on this screen, which suddenly changes from one term to another. Connect the simple noise output with the color on master node. Cool. You can right click on the preview window and select the right object for checking. Second step, we want to receive circles or ellipses instead of rectangulars for this shader. Let's create another node called ellipse node. Ellipse nodes generates an ellipse shape based on input UV at a size specified by input width and height. The output of the simple noise returns one value so that we cannot directly connect the output simple noise with UV. It should connect with our width and height, which represent the random noise number in each ellipse. Since the ellipse node based on the input UV, we have to create another UV node. 
we want to generate the same number ellipse as the posterize node screens so that we have to first enlarge the UV map. Our current UV scale is one unit. We can use multiply node. As we learned before, multiply node returns input A multiplied it by input B. In other words, we multiplied it by 15 in order to create one 15 plus 15 grid. Then create fraction node, which returns the fractional or decimal part of input, which is greater than or equal to zero and less than one. Finally, connect the output fractions with the input UV. Then connect the output simple noise with the width and height of the ellipse. If you are concerned with the ellipse color, we can create a sample gradient node. This node samples a gradient given the input of time, returns one vector for color value for use in the shader. Then we can quickly use multiply node to achieve the gradient color. Save the assets and the switch bank. Drag the shader into here. Now our shader effects can be displayed on the game view. Cool. However, this is not what we want. We want one ellipse shader with dynamically gradient color instead of the current static shader. So back to shader graph edit window, we need to search for time node which provides access to various time parameter. Using multiply to combine the simple noise output with the time output. However, if we connect the output multiply with the input time on sample gradient, or ellipse turns blue because we forgot to use fractions node to separate these images into many pieces of parts. Fraction nodes returns the fractions or decimal parts of the input. If you want to dynamically change the ellipse width and height in each frame, we can connect the edges between output fractions with the width and height on ellipse node. If we run our things, and you can see that each ellipse change its size dynamically with the gradient color. Perfect. Alright, this is the end of this video. To learn more about the underlying material models, I highly recommend you to check out the existing Unity standard shadow document. You can download the project from the description below. By the way, you can join our server on Discord. In the next episode, we will introduce the Statics Noise TV shader. Stay tuned for future updates from my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share with friends, and subscribe to my channel. There's much more to come. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. You are the best.